and we are back. Hello everyone, welcome back to 5 Minutes Code channel where I will be explaining the solution of every problem of Read Code and Geeks for Geeks within less than 5 minutes. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's problem of the day is minimum sum which is marked as a medium level problem and I agree with it. Let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do. So we will be given one integer array ARR and we have to return some string. Okay, all right. Now let's find out what operations we have to do. So we will be given elements in the range of 0 to 9. Okay, so array will be containing elements from 0 to 9. Okay, we have to return the minimum possible sum. Okay, of two numbers found using the elements of the array using the elements of the array okay so we have to return like we have to divide this array such that it divides divided into two numbers two numbers and all the elements should be used okay all digits in the given array must be used okay so we have to divide this array into two parts to use all the elements and we have to return the sum and that sum should be minimum possible minimum possible sum okay all right and return a string without leading zeros okay all right i think the problem statement will be clear to you and now how we are going to solve it okay so first thing is we have to minimize the number of digits we have to minimize the number of digits okay otherwise look what we can think of is key for in one element we will keep this much in another we will keep this much but no the this number is very much bigger now okay this number is five digits five digits is what 68,000 so we are not going to do this we have to minimize the number of elements present okay so we can have something like six eight four and 5 2 3 okay all right it can be a possible number because the number of integers are like the minimum one okay uh, because if i will take 4 in 1 and then it will be going in 1000 and then carry will be 2000 3000 but now it will be in 1000 it will go to 1000 but it will be minimum okay all right but here you can see ki if 5 2 3 instead of 5 2 3 it will be 2 5 3 yeah then it will number will be lesser okay similarly for 6 8 4 if i will be let's say uh, sorting it so it will be six four six eight again this number is a smaller this number is a smaller this number is small so we should take the smaller number now okay i think you guys are getting to the point what we have to do we have to first of all sort the array okay we have to sort the array okay so i will sort the array simply it will be something like two three four five six eight something like this okay all right now if i will if you will think of key how we should divide it if you will think something like two three four and five six eight no look this number is the minimum number but this has become very much this has become very large okay so we have to minimize this as well we have to minimize this five as well and this like both numbers first element like the element should be in the increasing order and should be minimum okay so how we can do that very very easy look we will form the number in such a way two for the first number three for the second number okay something like this so it is 2 here it is 3 4 5 6 8 something like this okay something like this 2 4 6 3 5 8 now this is the minimum numbers and we will simply get the sum of it and return okay all right similarly you can see of this 5 3 0 7 4 so it will be something like if we will sort it 0 3 4 five seven okay zero four seven for one number three five for another number so like you can do this uh, many times you can try with different edge cases different cases and you will get that yeah this is correct if we have to take alter we have to first of all sort the array we have to then take the alternate numbers and form two strings and we have to get the sum of it and return okay that's it that's it guys but but there is one issue you can see that arr dot size can be from 1 to 10 raised to the power 6 it means 10 raised to the power 6 elements can be present in this array 10 raised to the power 6 elements can be present in this array which is very much but now you can not simply do the sum you cannot simply add it because 10 raised to the power 6 what does it mean if 10 raised to the power 6 elements are there so if we will divide it into two parts then also it will go beyond the integer capacity integer can only have 2 raised to the power 34 32 then big integer double all all 10 raised to the power 6 is very much and it will be let's say escaping all the um, number length number limits okay so we have to let's say form two strings and we have to write the function to get the sum of two strings okay to get the sum of two strings and uh, to get the sum and simply return so we have to do something like a string string wise we have cannot convert it into number at any point okay i hope this will be clear now so how can we do that let's see how can we get the sum of two 
numbers two strings how to can we get the number uh, sum of two strings because we cannot convert it into numbers as i told okay so it will be something like two four six okay three five eight okay all right i will be having two um, let's say pointers one will be at this one will be at this okay let's say let's remove this anything three and in this in the in first number string only three are there in second string two are there okay all right now we have to maintain one carry as well carry is equal to zero okay i will simply check key six is present eight is present get the sum sum is what six eight fourteen so i will do something like four and i will add one carry here okay all right after that the pointers will come to four and five okay five four nine one carry ten okay ten ka zero i will put there i'm using modulus and carry will be one still okay all right the pointer will be coming two and here it will be pointing to z minus one which is no use so i will simply neglect it two and plus one three okay through plus one three so this will be the sum this will be the sum of these two numbers and we can will be storing this into a string and we will simply return it i hope the problem concept explanation like how are we going to approach is will be very very clear to you if yes please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video okay all right so now we can simply write the code of it we will divide it into two step first of all prepare two strings first of all prepare two strings and then after preparing two strings we have to combine them we have to get the sum of it and then we will simply return it i hope it will be clear and i hope that will also be clear that we cannot why we cannot have uh, converted simply to integers and then get the sum of integer because 10 raised to the power 6 and if you will divide into two parts then it will be something like 10 raised to the power 3 10 to the power 3 you know 1000 okay so 1000 characters can be in one number 1000 characters will be in and 1000 numbers will be in another number it will be going out of the limit okay all right i hope it will be clear to you now now let's simply go to the code section then okay i will write the code of it okay all right so let's take first of all what we are going to do we are going to simply sort the array so array is dot sort arr now it doesn't matter if you are code in c++ if you code in java you code in python you can write the code by looking at my code as well okay so in java you know ki strings are immutable so we will be using string builder which are mutable and which will be let's say taking less memory two string builder okay something like this now i will be taking two we have to take two we have to make two strings and then we have to make one answer as well okay so let's take another one here only answer okay all right after that let's take one boolean flag is equal to true okay this way i will use to alternate the alternate numbers from the string i hope this will be clear so first of all i will use a while loop in i arr if flag is true append it to sb1 i and otherwise append it to sb2 okay something like this and i hope everyone will be with me till the i core complete the code okay and after that i will change the flag so flag is equal to not flag means if it will be true it will become false if it will be false it will become true okay all right so now till this point i have got my string i have got two strings okay all right now what i told i will be having two variables let's say i is equal to sb1 dot length means uh, at the last of it sb1 dot length minus 1 and j will be sb2 dot length minus 1 and one more variable for carry carry equal to 0 at this point okay all right because look if the number will be created 3 5 8 2 4 6 we have to start adding them from the last we have to start adding them from the last 8 6 something like this i hope you will be getting okay so for this we have to get to the last of the string that's why i am taking i and j okay all right now by till when i will continue this i will continue this till while i is greater than 0 and j is greater than equal to 0 or or one more thing carry is equal to 1 if any of these is correct true i will be keep on going inside now value 1 will be value 1 will be what sb one's character at i okay so it will be something like if i is greater than equal to 0 it will be sb dot char at i minus 0 okay otherwise it will be zero okay minus zero why i am doing because look sb dot character i will be returning us some character character okay character can be 5 character can be 4 it will be in a sky value of it a sky value but if i will remove the minus this string zero value so it will be converted it will be converted okay i hope it will be clear to you now i will be doing int value 2 is equal to similarly very similar j is greater than equal to 0 so it will be sb look it was sb1 it will be sb2 dot char at what j and uh, minus 0 and otherwise it will be 0 okay all right 
now I will get the sum sum is equal to what val1 plus val2 plus carry okay all right now look I will update my carry I will update my carry carry is equal to what if it will be 10 it can carry can be only what 10 to 20 like from 10 to 18 maximum or 19 it can be okay so carry will be carry divide by 10 okay and sum will be what sum will be what modulus 10 okay so I will something do like answer dot append also I can use answer dot append sum modulus 10 okay all right something like this and after that I will decrease my i and I will decrease my j as well okay so now after this I when I will come out I will be having the sum I will be having the sum when I will come out of this okay so we can simply return the sum but we have to look we are adding the sum in reverse order so we have to like re reverse the string okay all right so what I will do I will do something like string a let's say uh, let's name it as a only okay it will be answer so it will be what answer dot reverse dot to a string okay something like this and I will simply return a okay but look one issue will be there ki suppose 9 4 no what issue will be uh, yeah we cannot have 0 0 in the starting we cannot have 0 in the starting so we have to remove the 0 okay so to remove the 0 what I will do I will take one more let's say int z is equal to 0 okay while z is less than equal to a dot length and then a dot caret z is equal to 0 it means we have to skip this so I will do something like z plus plus and at last I will simply return the substring of a starting from z okay I hope it will be clear to you it's not much um, rocket science because look if the number is something like let's say number is something like 0 uh, I have got some issues let me check it but first of all say 0 5 2 let's say 0 0 5 2 okay all right so what will be like uh, z will be at a starting 0 I will do z plus plus because it is 0 so my z will become to 1 index okay again it is 0 my z will move to this 5 okay so now it is correct now it is not 0 so I will return the string starting from this 5 2 okay all right let me check what this issue is sb1 is already defined okay oh sorry i have used it two times my bad it was a very silly mistake let's compile and run this again okay val1 val2 carry oh sorry okay, it will not be carry it will be sum carry is equal to sum divided by 10 okay all right let's compile this again to check I'm actually doing this after a long long time so yeah I hope it is getting accepted meanwhile you must have to subscribe the channel if you have liked this explanation I will be attaching the code in C++ Python as well so please use that and uh, yeah please like the video share your feedbacks into the comment section and I'm going to see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye